one. Welcome. Uh, okay, timer started. <laughs> Perfect right. beginning. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Culture Shock. I am your host, Seth McKendry, and I am here today with a good friend of mine who I've known for, I can't even say how long because it's been a, it's been a, <laughs> it's been a while <laughs> oh it's about to do four now it's four now <laughs> uh, four years uh mr jeremy rodriguez Hello, Introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah. or uh wait, did i say all your names <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you pretty much said it all what well, okay jeremy. introduce yourself <laughs> even though i already okay. did go ahead my name is jeremy I'm one of says closest friends from um, high school one of his closest friends since freshman year right so I'm pretty sure it was your year. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much about. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. So, this, <laughs> uh, this podcast has been in the works for about maybe two days. <laughs> yeah, two days. We, you made it up. I came to it. I was like, yo, you want to do this? You were like, sure, why not? <laughs> I give, it a, give it a good thumbs up. You know, it's the thing is, yeah, yeah, well, continue, go ahead. continue. I don't yeah. want to be the guy cutting off his guest, so continue. Yeah, uh, yes, you're you invited me one day. We were in class, you're like, Hey, you want to do a podcast? I was like, A broadcast, sorry, and I was, like, yeah. <laughs> I was down for it. So now we're here in this position, be said, talking 101, get some real good time instead of our lunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is what, 35 minutes. <laughs> now we got we'll a whole hour. hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. interview last night I did lasted for an hour and 18 minutes. So we can exceed it. I'm just going to cut down the parts that suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut it down to at least 45 with our an hour minute. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to cut out all the good stuff. I'm only going to yeah. cut down the quiet parts when we're trying to transition. Mm -hmm. Like this part right here. <laughs> yeah. You can you, you, uh, go ahead and start with which topic you want to start off with. Uh, so as you said, I've known you for since freshman year, right? Yeah. Yeah. So almost four years. So yeah. Basically four years. Really think about At it. this four, point, it's five. been four years. Yeah. Yeah. So Next year will be five. Mm -hmm. So sure. yeah, we've, I can't remember what class we met in. Science. We met in science. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was science. Was it science? It was either math or science. It was one of the two. You fucking saw you. hopped off real quick with that answer. <laughs> yeah, I kind of remember because I, it was either science or, or math. Or um, I kind of, I kind of looked at you and like, damn, this dude is tall. <laughs> you know, kind of <laughs> and I thought, I thought you were like a senior because of your um, beard you had. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was, you know, I'm gonna get to know him. He looks pretty cool. And you know, guess what? <laughs> you were yeah, fucking here. We are yeah. four years later on my show. <laughs> <Good interview. laughs> and yeah. uh, that's what um, I don't know if you've seen that podcast I did with Raul. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was a long, long podcast, <laughs> <laughs> dude. It was only fi it was the shortest one by far that I've made. It was only fifty one minutes. Oh. Well, that's still pretty long if you really think about it. But yeah. Because you know. I normally go for an hour. So it mainly because when we tried to do it, at for, we tried to do it twice. The first time it fucked up because <laughs> we tried to do it over Discord <laughs> and yeah. everything, you know, kind of fucked itself. Yeah. So we were like, okay, I'll just do it over Zoom. So I did. I was like, oh, hell yeah, dude. And then. Yeah, and then you went to like over his place or he came to your place? Or how I, I went over to his place. I got you. And then, uh, yeah, his dog, like his dog Morley, cool, coolest yeah. fucking one of the coolest fucking dogs I've ever met. Oh really? Yeah. It was he has a, a pitbull, I believe. Yeah, great people. Yeah, pitbull. Yeah, I, I got and a picture. Was... I got a picture of him. Oh wow! Because usually every dog I be, so I'm not saying his, but so far everyone, every dog that I met so far. Usually, does it you know taste it the wrong way? Yeah, there you go. Dang, is it a boy or a girl? I forgot. It's a boy. It's a girl. Oh damn! Right, and so. uh, you remember we'll, we'll how uh, you said you were like, "Oh, we're gonna take a picture of our hair in the morning and see how it is." 
This oh, is how damn, we never did all <laughs> This is how mine turned out. Oh damn. <laughs> it's all fucked. <laughs> See why it still looks like how it looks like in the morning, dude. I would, I would. The only thing I, it looked the same. The only thing I really did to it is, you know, COVID keep me like a little bit down, you know, because this this Mine's part right here, just, I don't know if you can see the broadcast, but it's yeah, like it's like open up. The yeah, green ones that's like you know slick it back, you know, they'll come back together. See, with this, I gotta do some work. I gotta put it all back, and then I gotta most of the time I gotta like take it all out and put it up. Yeah, because you should, you should you have saw, the uh, the one here because. The, you know, um, uh, I'm sorry, but you know the um, the one haircut from the guy from Metallic, uh, the guitarist. Uh, which and, one? Do you know what uh, I'm talking about? James Hetfield. Uh, I don't know, but like he uh, he plays a guitar, but like he has his like side like cut off, but he has his hair like on top of his head like really long. So like every time he's jamming out, he's just you know swinging his head, and like hair going crazy, you know. So he goes, oh, hold on, I got a video. Because well, there's go ahead, go uh, do your thing <laughs> as we as he tries to find that video, he could e- either be talking about three people, not James Hetfield because he does not have long hair anymore, but he be he could be talking either about Robert Trujillo, the bass player, or Kirk Hamlet. I think Those, Kirk Hamlet. Yeah, because he's the guitarist that like, uses the wah pedal, and he's just like he just fucking goes crazy with it. He's got gray um, hair now because he's old as fuck. <laughs> and he's. A really I was gonna old. play music, but let's give you yeah, copyright. Nah, so nah, yeah, no, no, dude, yeah, yeah. copyright <laughs> infringement. I, I ain't yeah, about yeah, to get no. copyrighted for this fucking podcast. I mean, you're a buddy of mine, but I ain't about to pay no fines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <I> know. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can. Let me see if we can pull them up in here. But I give me a second. Remember when I sent you that video? <laughs> we were in. Uh, we were in class, and uh-huh. I sent you that video of uh, fucking what's his name of uh, Axl Rose being all drunk and slash oh, fucking yeah, yeah. up the, uh, yeah, the, the the intro the, the intro to Welcome it? to the Jungle and yeah Welcome to the Jungle that's what it was yeah Welcome to the Jungle that was a really good song I need uh, when you first showed me that video of the that one singer, I don't know his name. Uh, but um, when you showed me that, when he showed, I didn't think he would sing like that in um, real life. I thought, you know, I thought it was gonna be like that. But his, I thought his voice was gonna be like a little bit worse, you know. Mm-hmm. Like it was gonna, I thought it was gonna be like, kind of like honest tune. But no, when, when you showed me that video, then again, like, back then, it was the '80s. That was when uh, his drugs and alcohol use was really Coming at his highest yeah. point. But now he does not sound anything like that, and he looks like a fifty-year-old lesbian woman. Yeah, you told me that. That's, that's I sent you that photo. He looks just <laughs> like that. <laughs> it's crazy how drugs could do to you. Don't do drugs, know, right? kids. Over here, this guy. Oh shit! <laughs> Don't do hard drugs, kids. <laughs> yeah, at least like what man crack. It, it was Chris cocaine. He, he was doing a lot of coke, a yeah, lot of nose guy, candy. Uh, hold on, nosey. I don't know if you you see him. It's very brief. Uh, oh, that might be. Um, Put it on play. Yeah, that's that's James Hetfield from. Yeah. That's from like 1990. <laughs> yeah, for people who are curious, what song is this? It's, it's um, interesting, man. Yeah, I I can tell from the video. <laughs> yeah, you You're don't even fan. need to play it's music. Fan, I can so. just tell from the video. Exactly. If you were I fan, grew up with song. that shit. So yeah. I grew up with a bunch of Spanish music, and then once, <laughs> once I started, oh, I actually, I don't, uh, I was really young, but I was, my um, aunt was really into like um, like boy bands, you know, like Green Day, like all those other bands like that. Yeah, yeah, like. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know, you're not a fan, but you know, I mean, kind of be- Green Day, uh, they have a couple good songs, but it's it's to the point. Like me and them, I can listen to like me. They're like the Cure. I can listen to maybe one one song but if i listen to any more than that i'm gonna feel like an emo kid for the rest of the day and <laughs> that's that's a no-go yeah so um what was, what was your first song the the first uh like metal song i listened to oh which, whatever i was gonna say green day but i mean yeah oh which, which like you... or do you mean like ever like what's your favorite i guess you what's your favorite on green day song let's just start out with that 
it's hard to choose because I don't listen to them very much. Well, there's uh, um, American Idiot. Yeah, I would have to uh, say American Idiot then. Yeah, that would go hard on it. <laughs> because I, that's like one of the only songs I know and the only one of the songs that I'll like legitimately listen to without puking. <laughs> I think uh, my first or like rock band was Green Day. And then you and Mr. Norman actually introduced me to, um, was it Metallic? Yeah, Metallica. Remember the first song? Yeah, Metallica. My first song was to listen with them was um, One. Yeah, uh, you know that yeah, song's yeah. about um, World War Two, no? Yeah, it's it's about yeah. a World War Two guy who lost his arms, his legs, his eyes, his mouth, and he's just like, he's just left alone, all taped up, in a hospital bed with just his mind, and he's in a coma. Yeah, that sucks, man. Yeah, I know, I but it's a, it's a good fucking song. <laughs> I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it is. But damn, imagine. You, you know, that know. entire album is about a, uh, I think it's about World War Two. Do you think what you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is about World War Two. the entire album. Yeah. I know because I talked to Norman about it and he was like, he was like, oh, yeah, there it is. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Norman, Norman was born at that time. Definitely know everything about <laughs> Does so does uh what's his name Mr. Prefer? Yeah, yeah. He re- he really um uh, I think it was during Zoom. I don't know if you were on that time, but uh, I asked him like, "Hey, Norman." Oh no, I don't know. If it was like before the pandemic came when I asked him before we went to the pandemic, or during Zoom. But I asked him. I was like, "Hey, Norman," or not Norman Prefer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, "Hey, what's your like? Do you listen to like rap or hip hop?" He's like, "Nah, dude, no, I, I, rock. I was in that class. I remember that. Oh, you remember that? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I remember you. I, yeah, it was. Yeah, we were all on a wrong. Zoom call. Yeah, and yeah. What was his favorite song? I never. I actually we have never. We didn't even ask him. I, I don't think we ever asked. Yeah, maybe maybe next Zoom meeting when we have. Oh, actually, we see him uh, in person. Yeah, we see him Monday. <laughs> yeah, so this time we can actually talk to. Him. Let, like, let's just hope you show up to school at a reasonable time without <laughs> missing any classes. Oh, man, don't even, listen to him. <laughs> don't even listen to him. Cause think about this: we got to go to Cochrane's class, <laughs> and like we actually have to go to his class, so you can't be late, <laughs> dude. And I'm actually in person with him. Like, yeah, I mean, like cause you know how you should show up with boys class, you know, like five, yeah. six minutes late. You can't do that shit anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that movie all blast. I can't really do anything no more, man. You got to get to school at like 7.40, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, dude, he's going to judge me every time I walk in late. Yeah. Or, so or, he, or he might stop the whole session and talk about how everybody's yeah. going. We're not paying attention. We're not I answering. can't wait to see how he's going to handle that. <laughs> because it's going to be funny That's as fuck. Problem, Think about dude. it. Get some serious. Plus, he did mention that boy. He had what problems when he was a kid, when he was yeah. growing up. Yeah, yeah. He did mention something like that. I'm like, damn. Why you? Why you gotta talk about that? We're zoo. <laughs> or yeah, no. You know, it's like, man. I mean, yeah, I get it. You, 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 American, what a badass. He, he's a, a he's an army veteran. Not a he's a marine. Oh, he's that a, actually uh, explains a lot. United States yeah. Marine. Wow. Okay, that explains a lot because um. He's just like Marines, uh, usually, Coach Marines usually get handled like really bad. From what not, not in a bad yeah. way, but they really get yelled at constantly every day. They they wake up like four four o'clock in the morning every day. They do like some serious training, dude. Yeah, I seen the training. I, I even I even got a um, uh, hold on, I got a, I got them uh, the other day. I got a mail for United States Marines, which right here. See, I got a phone call from them. Yeah, I got a phone call <laughs> and a text. Like the thing that, was, I didn't even I didn't even answer it. I, just, I didn't answer it either, but he texted me saying if I wanted to join. Like I was I, really thinking about it too, but I was like, yeah. I was wondering because it was a new phone. I was like, how the fuck did you guys get my number? <laughs> Dude, they get everything, bro. You want to? They they force you to join sometimes. Well, not force you. You know what I mean? But they try to talk free to will. You. Yeah. Yeah. They'll tell they'll tell you what you get a free. We're not a, like you know they'll show up like your Corvettes and like you know those high ranks other people that we yeah, have like it, it, they just do that to be like oh yeah join it's gonna it's yeah, not gonna suck it all 
Yeah, they'll tell you, you join this, we'll give you a brand new car and a brand new house. I mean, Which, I got nothing you know, against the people that, like, are Marines. I got a couple of buddies that are Marines. Yeah, so, so do I. My brother, my uncle's in the Marines. Well, he's not no more, right? He's a veteran right now. And so is my brother. But he's in, uh, I don't know, I forgot what they call it, but like, when, when we go to wars or, like, shit goes down, uh, you know, I, uh you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, but I know – I'm trying to find the word for it. Oh, uh, the reserves. There you go. Reserves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where That's he only goes right. on, like, the weekends or some shit? No, no. And just, like, when uh, – When don't know shit goes that. down, he's the first one to go? Yeah, pretty much. Do like – it's pretty much like a job. Like, hey, dude, you're in the reserve. We're going to have to draft you for this. You know, kind mm. of thing. He was in the National Guard. He was in the Marines, though. I used to have a uh, PE teacher that was in the Air Force Reserves. In middle school, yeah. yeah. How did that work out for him, or what? He Is like he'd go. It'd be like every few months where he'd be gone for like mm-hmm. six weeks. Oh wow! And then, six weeks? yeah, we were like, oh, okay. Dude, oh yeah, he was in the reserves. You know, finding some I rankings, which that's just a it's, just, it's a good thing. But then you know they usually come back with like P PTSD, you know. Yeah, which is really hard, you know, because you know I understand their point of view, mm-hmm. which is coming back from like a war to come back to like a normal life. As a yeah, civilian. you you gotta be, you, you gotta to try to act normal and not fucking, you know. Yeah, and like paranoid, like making sure there's no one out to shoot you, like always watching your back, kind of thing. You know? Yeah, always that type of situation. Yeah, because there's always like stories too, like when, uh, like let's say someone shuts the door really fast. You know, they'll be like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, like, they'll react to that, like, really quick. You know, they'll look at it and they'll start, like, you know. They'll yeah, start going try to, Like, try to make popcorn around them. They'll fucking try to shoot the microwave. <laughs> well, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> but, say it. <laughs> but think think about it. Because, like, you know, you made popcorn. I mean, everybody's made popcorn before. Yeah, yeah, poof, poof. Popcorn, yeah just psh, 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 eat a little popcorn shit here. Boy. But think, think about that. Yeah. What they've be. been through, they'd be like, oh, fuck, you know, what's going on? Yeah, like, dude. I'm not trying to make jokes, but, you know, still, <laughs> you never know. Yeah. Yeah, no one never knows. You know, I have, I have high respect for people in the range. I yeah, I do, respect. too. So, like, even police officers, you know, they yeah. do risk their lives. You know, even though they're not going to war, but they, like, risk their lives here to capture, yeah. like, criminals here in the home. Then home again, country. some of them are pieces of shit, but we're not going to get into that. No, hopefully none of them are watching this. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to <laughs> stir up no controversy because yeah. I ain't this got the time to deal with this shit. <laughs> Just like with the George Floyd situation, yeah, that was that was pretty fucked up. Yeah, like, that, was, that was some fucked shit. Was man. Fuck, yeah, there was another officer shooting too today. I was looking at my phone, um, bro. Yeah. It's like was, every other day there's a fucking officer shooting. I don't understand it. I don't know. It's just a thing. The I think thing it just is, might be a the bunch media, of racist white cops. The media of it, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, because the media can say one thing, but really, if you look, because I was looking at the video, and I was going over the video, mm-hmm. which to me, the officer has had um, all kinds of rights to um, shoot the lady. Mm-hmm. It was a little girl, but the thing is, the, um, the little girl run up, ran up to another girl. And was chasing her down with the knife. It actually swung the knife to her face. Oh shit! And like, yeah, but the lucky she missed. But the officer, you know, took fire at her. And actually, you know, yeah, popped a couple caps. Which the thing is, you gotta understand at that point of view from an officer that you know you're a threat beyond that point. Yeah, because you know, no matter you're swinging what, a knife. Yeah, you're swinging a knife. You're you're a threat. You know what I mean? So, you know, you can't just stand back and it's totally You can't just be like, oh, oh. No, because <laughs> if he, because I was hearing too from the officers that they were saying that apartment that if he wouldn't have shot, then the other girl would have got um, her or killed him, possibly. Man. Yeah. yeah, which it was a crazy one too. Uh, because it, uh, the video was showing that like there was people fighting outside. You know, the, the girl that got dropped was the, was some, I don't know what was going on, but the girl got dropped in that video. And the girl with the knife was the one that dropped that girl. And then she went up to another girl with the knife. And she just, you know, like I told mm-hmm. you, swung, missed, fired, took, um, officer, took, fired, and, you know. 
But yeah, I understand a point of view from other people's point of view that how um, the little girl is a little girl, but the thing is, you know, I was missing one assignment in this class, and it was the only missing assignment I had. Uh-huh. And I was like, "Yo, I've e- I, I I didn't call him out in class, but I was like, I emailed you about the assignment, right? He uh-huh. was, you were there. He was like, "Yeah, I'll check it right now." And then I checked my grades, and it was that bumped my grade from a B to a B plus. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you want to give you like ten points on that assignment? That was it, all there, friends. I think I had like five missing assignments in this class, and I have a B. Um, cause I'm super I, I close to getting of, an A. Yeah. That's what he said, huh? I, I texted him about it, but I don't know. I, I actually emailed him, but I don't know if he got the email. I haven't checked my grades in a while, to be honest. I was, cause I'm more focused about my, um, senior, senior project, project yeah. which is, I basically don't, yeah, basically done just need to record it beyond this point. Um, but yeah, that's all really. You got and, to. Uh, Are you gonna go to uh, Ms. Van Bossel's uh, Saturday school? Nah, cause I already completed the senior project. I completed it like a month ago. Yeah. So and uh, I are I don't have no missing assignments in her class, so I have no reason to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I but to be honest, bro, I'll be taking my sweet ass time on that senior project. I was it, you know, I was it. You, a, you got a you, week, bro. I know, I know. I'm, <laughs> I told, like I told, like I told for box, so I would tell you too. Like I'm done with that. I just need to record myself with it. That's mm-hmm. pretty much what. And uh, <laughs> ever since I got done with it, like you know, when she started working on it a month before we needed to, and she was like, "Okay, you got to do this, this, and this." And then I did the recording, and I got done with it. Right. Right. I have not done. She. At that point, she was scrambling for me, like, for shit for me to do because I was done with everything. She was like, uh, uh, do this assignment. Do this. Do that. And I yeah, checked I my grades, know. and I had a uh-huh. flat A in her class, 90%. <laughs> Just, <psh. laughs> I don't and know I think after uh, Prefer, I think after he uh, grades the two ed puzzles that that we did, uh, I think after he grades that, I'll have an A in his class too. And then the only the only class I won't have an A in is uh, Miss Moore's class, which is the senior career class. Uh huh. That class I have a B, but I'm trying to work my ass off to try to get in an A. Yeah, I feel like I feel like if I really try, I will get straight before I graduate, which I can. I can, but I mean, I am trying, but I'm just, it's super, I'm just doing the assignments and I somehow got good grades. Yeah. The thing is, it's super simple. It's It's a simple premise. (laughs) Yeah. Super project, super everything, really. Just getting it done. That's it. The only class that I'm super surprised about that I have an A in is uh, Cochran's class, the math class. Because I have an A minus in his class. Yeah, but A minus. He always talking to you though. You're like, <laughs> you're like almost literally the class pit. I'm not saying you're like a kid size, but I'm saying like he knows you better than anybody here. It's because he's, he's had me for like two years. Oh shit, we lost you. Oh no, <laughs> we lost you. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, 25 minutes in, we lost him. Yeah. Say something. Yeah, yep. Oh, we could. We got you back. Cool. All right, bro. I was lagging my bad. It's all good. But She's it's because I've had him for like two years. I've, I've had his class for like two years. Yeah. So he knows me. <laughs> yeah, that's some bullshit. He hates you, man. <laughs> I think I feel like he hates me. I really do. I don't think I can make him happy when I come back to school or this regular class on Monday. Which is gonna be excuse me. I'm pretty dude. How much you wanna basically call it out everybody that was gonna call it? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like call it out like, hey, so what would you do it behind the screen on you know, whatever kind of thing. If you what? Like, you know, like hey, what are we doing behind the screen or whenever I called you you didn't call, you know, kind of thing. Like you didn't oh. answer. 
Oh, if he if he asks that, yeah. <laughs> like, what is good? What is the what is the response? I don't know. <laughs> Hey, right, that's what I mean. The response, like, here's the response. I was listening and I lost track. <laughs> like a, dude, <laughs> you know, even I pretty just could be looking at that like, oh, you're, you're just telling a lot of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to be like, bullshit, you know, kind of thing. Like, this was, this was like, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because Conker's not dumb, you know. Conker, yeah, he he ain't he ain't a dumb motherfucker. I mean, he, yeah, but yeah, he ain't old, but he ain't that old, you know. So yeah, he's yeah. Dude, mm-hmm. you remember that he's one class there. where he just fucking got up and left <laughs> I know, in the middle of class? Yeah, he was so mad. He just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, where he going? Did he really just give up? Like, yeah. <laughs> dude, really I remember up. he was just fucking. Because I remember I was at my grandma's house. I was spending the night over at her house. And I had my Chromebook mm-hmm. with me. Mm-hmm. So I, like, logged into class. And then uh, he was just... Apparently, he got so mad at everyone that he just fucking... Like, he just turned silent. He just fell silent. Got up. Walked away. <laughs> and I was... And my sister was sitting right next to me doing her, like, school thing, right? <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, look at this shit. He just left. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I, I'll be in class. I like to fuck her out of class. And I like, know you do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was, I was I'm one of the people you fuck around with. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was about to put in the chat like, uh, you know, got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you would have got pissed on me. Uh, yeah, but Conquer Conquer got some serious problems, bro. Like, like you know how we were talking about the other day, like how he always repeats the same shit over and over again. Yeah, uh, dude, he does that a That's lot. That's the thing. It is like you know, you know how you were saying like, um, like if you say it once and you keep on repeating it, it's not eventually it's not gonna get into your heads anymore. You know, eventually it loses its meaning. Basically, I don't. I don't think he understands that. <laughs> I mean, I know I repeat myself a lot. I know I do that. But Cocker is a different breed of repeat. Yeah, <laughs> but he's he's Talks a little damn. different. You know what I mean? Talks way too damn much. The same thing. <laughs> Pretty cool though. But <sighs> I okay. Talks. So since we're talking <laughs> about school, <laughs> all right. Uh, who out of the entire four years we both have been at SJ, who has been your favorite teacher? Ooh. <laughs> I, hope, I hope we're not being live on the school district and send it to me. Uh, um, be real honest. Come on, there has to be at least one. Oh, no, I know, I know. I have, I have, <laughs> yeah. I have a lot, to be honest. I, uh, dude, I have a couple. I have a couple, too. I have a couple, too. So mine will be... If, if you were to give me a ranking, go ahead. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I am giving you a ranking. Yeah. So we prefer mm-hmm. scouting. Which they're pretty. They're, they're the same for me. I can't. I can't really yeah, put yeah. Because I remember when I had this yeah, class, yeah. you'd fucking show up all the time. Be like, oh hey, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, you so scouting. You know, you'd be like, Jamie, get out of my class. You'd be like, I mean, get like, the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you'd be like, you know what, just come in, man. Yeah, he just come on. <laughs> so yeah, Scotty Prefer, and then I was I was gonna say Mr. Dickinson, but he was cool you know, as fuck. He, yeah, he's still my first pre- teacher. Yeah, even though like there's a charge against you, too. even that. though something happened. Even yeah, his yeah. his wife is one of my favorite teachers too. Yeah, I do Miss Dickinson. She, really she's chill. just a cool as fuck person, you know. Yeah, I do. Yeah, she's really chill. Like. It's nothing about her teaching skills. Just as a person, she's cool as fuck. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I mean with, like, everybody else that just wearing thought. Like, it's just really cool. Mm-hmm. Even, like, I like Ms. Moore, but, like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes she has their off days. She, she like, I feel well, like she targets me. Everybody has their off days. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So you can't yeah. knock her for that. Yeah, true, true. Because uh, I was talking to Ms. Moore the other time, or when I say, like, after class, before everybody left for school to school or go home uh, I was telling her like dude we let off at a bad start in 2020 you know before like we closed down the last week of school mm-hmm. and she's like yeah but I'm pretty sure we all did <laughs> yeah. but I was like yeah true because I think yeah, I was there yeah. wasn't I 
Yeah. I was around the vicinity. I was yeah, yeah. You were like around. right in your ass. Like, I, I was like, I was, you know. You were like, you're nice over here. Yeah. Kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? How the pandemic. I remember, I told, I was told people, like, I remember what happened that day, too. I remember yeah. every single moment. I, I remember that, too. So, so, what was supposed to happen to you, like, before the pandemic happened in school and shit? Uh, you, wait, you didn't finish giving me your teacher rankings, man. I did. I told you. You did? Scouting. Okay. No, creeper, scouting. Creeper, scouting. And Mr. Dickinson. Just three? <laughs> I mean, okay. I really, I got on, I, to be honest, I got on. What about everybody. Norman? <laughs> Norman? I like Norman, too. Yeah, I'll get Norman. I'll get Norman. Yeah, what about Norman, man? <laughs> yeah, Norman's up there, dude. Norman's up okay. there. I, 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 was, I haven't talked to him like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've talked to him. Yeah, I, I talk to him every now and again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, talk about Norman. I got to tell you the story, man. <laughs> so, um. We were talking about like in this class places that we want to go in the world with um, kind of something about history, really interesting mm-hmm. about history in the world. And then I was trying to, um, <laughs> I was trying to describe the Burj Khalifa, if you know what that is. Mm-hmm. Do you know what that is? Yeah. It's the, it's the tallest building in the world. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I was telling you. Like, wait, was that when uh, you said Mia Khalifa? Yeah, or somebody said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, said, yeah. I remember I was that. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I was like, uh, I was like, and, um, I re- and I was like, my finger, I was like, where's this uh, Mia Khalifa live? <laughs> I was like, oh, everybody, lived, everybody lived to me. Even though we like turned from his computer, he was on his phone too. Like, 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 what? <laughs> yeah, I tried my hardest oh, to keep like, my composure because I didn't want to be the one guy. <laughs> yeah, John and everybody else just looked at each other, like looked at me, like, bro, like, you serious? did you really like, just uh, name drop right now? Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> it was funny, and and I, I was thinking about it. Um, I thought about it like a couple months ago, and I thought about that moment. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was like, wait, hold up, how do you know about me or Khalifa? You know, <laughs> you never, hey, I was like, wait, hey, you, you know, never know, man. You know, <laughs> this shit might hey, happen. I thought, yeah, my boy felt lonely one time, you know. I mean? <laughs> you, you, hey, <laughs> it it happens to every one of us. <laughs> yeah. So Everyone. going back to that question that you asked before, you went off with that Norman story, which I remember vividly. But <laughs> 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 that question you asked, what was that question? What question? The oh, uh, how the day? Yeah. yeah. When I told you. Yeah. Oh, what do you, wait, what question? How, um, when everything first hit the fan. Oh, that, that question. Yep. Yeah. You didn't, even, you didn't even tell me yours. Or you want to go first? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. You're my guest. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, before the pandemic hit, there was a lot of things at that time in my life, for me, was really going down. Yeah, Come on, yeah. one of the first events was um swim. You know what I was in swim. Yeah, you you and you were huge. You and, yeah, you you liked that a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I'm you were wearing the hoodie a few days ago, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. But um, anyways, at that at that very moment on that Friday, we were supposed to have a tournament. It wasn't a tournament, but it was a swim for like an actual. It was a meet. Pretty much, yeah, a meet. And um, it was big. It was big because, you know, it was our first swim meet. And all the district was going to be there. Yeah, and the district was going to be there. Every teacher was going to be there. Like, it was going to be huge. You know, it was a big event for everybody. Mm-hmm. And then my dad was going to go to that event, too. Because mm-hmm. he never, like, went to my um, swim to see me, like, actually swim with everybody else. Mm-hmm. And that was like his first event that was actually going to come. And, you know, it was a big event. It was a big moment for me. Mm-hmm. And then, um, and you know Hannah, right? Yeah, of course I know Hannah. Yeah, and then that was her birthday too. So uh, I, I was going to take her out to go eat. Yeah, I I remember you, tell, you told me this story. Yeah. I was going to go take her out to eat. And then she wanted to meet my parents. So I was going to introduce her to my parents. But that never happened. And then I was in band. 
and um and band where we're gonna go to uh to a college to perform like music mm-hmm. and then uh and then from from there we were gonna go to Knott's Ferry Farm or Disneyland I could remember I'm pretty sure it was Knott's Ferry Farm and then <laughs> I didn't want to go because I was really scared of roller coasters so I was at that you time watch a lot of Final Destination huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we so at that time I was I was trying to commit so uh, my, uh, my band teacher, like, his name was Mr. Vaughn. I don't know if you heard of him. Yeah, I've I've heard of him. Yeah, he's pretty chill, dude. Really kick back, dude. I ain't gonna lie. I told you, you know, you piss him off, of course. <laughs> but then, yeah, dude, I was trying to I was trying to convince him, but he said, "Man, you sure, man? Like, you know, it's not that bad, you know." Blah blah. I was like, "Yeah, you know, it's okay. I'll just call my mom to come big me <laughs> help me um back out of that situation real quick." And he said, like, yeah, he's like, you know what, Jeremy, you don't want to go, you know, it's cool, man. It's completely like, well, voluntary. you do that, show up to the college and perform there. I was like, mm-hmm. yes, I'll totally do that. I'm totally down for it, but I'm not going for a roller coaster. <laughs> <Yeah. They are? laughs> what? what instrument did you play? The bass. The bass, man. The, uh, the big old... <laughs> the big old violin. Yeah. I was starting to think you would be like a fucking Rob Trujillo, start going, you know? Fucking yeah. start crab walking and shit. <laughs> dude, I, I ain't gonna lie. I like that just a bit. You know, it was my first time playing it too. And I liked it, dude. I like how it sounded, like everything about it. And uh, so when everything hit the fan, here's, here's the scenario for everybody. It was Friday the 13th. Yeah. It was a rainy. Rainy. Thunderstorm and everything. Whole, th- yeah. Whole nine yards. Yeah. And I remember waking up that day and I was like, oh, I was like, oh, it's Friday the 13th. Since I'm a horror movie fan, I'm going to watch the movies and play the game, which I did with Louise and um, Jonathan. No, not Jonathan. Uh, Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. I recorded the video and everything. It's on my YouTube channel. Mm hmm. And I remember I was telling Miss Moore about because she was our sixth period. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we told everybody about it, dude. Yeah, we were like, I don't think no one, I don't think no one from high school at that period of time is ever gonna like forget that moment. Everyone's gonna remember the same day and what happened when shit went, when the fucking earth stood still. <laughs> yeah, basically, like it literally, everybody was at a standstill. Everybody stopped. Yeah, everybody like, was like, "Fuck," you know. Yeah, like everybody looking around, like looking for a solution, try to fix it. It'd be but like, really, what the fuck we do now? You know? Yeah, everything just crashed, really. It was like almost like a depression. If you really yeah. think about it, just like a depression. Yeah. No one, was, everybody was out of job. There was no job. Except for my dad. I asked him, like, I asked my dad before he went to work. I remember, I was like, Dad, you're still going to go to work on my day? He's like, Yeah, I'm going to still go to work. I was like, Oh. And my dad, too, since he's a mechanic, he still yeah. went to work on Monday, you know? Yeah. And most people, didn't like almost i would say what 95 percent of people or just like lost their jobs yeah lost their jobs because of money and the business going down yeah but then again people started getting unemployment checks like fat checks dude yeah i know for not doing shit Can you believe yeah that? for fucking sitting on their ass <laughs> yeah dude, they're, they're, like low key pissed me off a little bit. my brother fucking the other day he he got paid to play Madden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say my sister, my sister got paid for laying down. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, man, I should, I wish should have, I should have got a job so I could get a paid jig like that. <laughs> well, well, then again, yeah. Once, yeah. okay, so here's the perfect scenario. Here's what was going on. It was raining outside, and I remember this day specifically because I was super excited for this month because March 16th every year is Austin 316 Day. Mm-hmm. Because of the numbers three sixteen, and um, we and like that was the day, the because uh, my brother bought me a shirt off of Amazon, and uh, you know the Stone Cold shirt, you've seen it before. Yeah, you were talking about it too before we um went to. Yeah, because I, I, you remember how fucking excited I was. Yeah, I know. You always talked about it every day. I, I was I, super I, excited. I, I, yeah, I was super excited about that t-shirt. Because uh-huh, Stone Cold is my favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah. Hold on, give me a second. One sec, please.
okay. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't like Stone Cold was my one of my favorite too. No, oh, like back yeah. can of whoop ass. <laughs> exactly. My my favorite moment is when he was um, wrestling with so you know how you go on go on to one of those corners, get on mm-hmm. those poles, you got two beers, just and then you sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, dude. Yo, uh, he was talking about it the other day too. Every time he took a sh- like not a shower but like a beard, yeah, was told fifty percent would go in and fifty yeah. percent would go out, yeah. and then he'd he'd have a pretty good buzz by yeah, the time before he got to the back. The yep. <laughs> and if it wasn't for how he was eating and how he how he was working out all the time, yeah, he would he he would have been dead from yeah. like liver mm-hmm. and kidney liver shit. Yep. Yeah, because that's what alcohol does to you. Yeah, fuck but up. he was eating super clean and like working out like a monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you saw that video too. Yeah, I watched the biography. Yeah, yeah, same here. I watched <laughs> the entire biography. It was like an hour long. <laughs> yeah, I only I only watched like a small piece of it, like a ten minute piece of it, and it was pretty good. Yeah, for being ten minutes instead of an hour. <laughs> I watched the entire thing because yeah. I'll watch anything Stone Cold. I'll fucking if I could find out new shit. Hell yeah, dude, totally. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the shirt was coming in, and I was like, "The shirt's gonna come in." And that day, once I was I was walking home, and since we had a chair that was right outside of our door, to, like for packages to be dropped off on, right? Yeah. And I was walking home. It was raining like a motherfucker, and I remember I had my earbuds in. And I was listening to, uh, fuck, it wasn't the Stone Cold theme song. It was, uh, what's the name of that song? It was uh, That's the Spirit by Bring Me the Horizon. So I was listening to that song, and it was getting me hyped up. And yeah. I, was, I was walking home, and then once I like got to my house, I was, you got to remember, it was raining really hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, so it was impossible to like not get soaked. Mm-hmm. You, you try your hardest, but still, motherfucker, you're gonna <laughs> gonna get pretty wet before you come in the house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to fucking, you know, uh, fucking wa- wave off like a dog and shit. Just fucking water yeah. going everywhere. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, um, the shirt was right there, and like I see in the Amazon package, and I was like. I was like, I know exactly what this is. Fuck yeah. And like, I fucking... Uh, <laughs> ripped that shit open. I ripped that shit open as soon as I got inside. And then I took a picture of it. And then I posted it on Instagram. Yeah, I remember that post. And <laughs> the thing was, I lost the shirt for a certain amount of time. Like, I, did, I couldn't oh. fucking find it until recently. I was like, I don't know where my Stone Cold shirt is. It's almost Austin 316 day, and I don't know where it is. And it was near the end of the fucking day where it was found. And I was like, I was like, better late than never. And I I just put it on. (laughs) Better late than never. That's the first time I ever heard that. (laughs) And then I proceeded to do the Stone Cold thing with the beers and all that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to spend fucking, you know, he has his own beer now. Yeah, well, I heard, but I haven't. I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't. Either. I don't drink. So yeah, I don't drink either. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my rankings for my favorite teachers of all time. All right, we still on that? <laughs> yeah. Since I didn't answer, you, we went on like tyrants about other shit. Yeah. All right, now backtrack. Now, now we backtrack. This is how podcasting works. <laughs> uh, well, at least a shitty professional type one anyway <laughs> yeah we're getting there right. Ten, wait dude you, this is huge i don't know if you know this but you're the 10th episode oh shit hey yeah. <laughs> you're the first episode that's double digits bro Hey, that's what's up. Yeah, that's, that's, that's some good shit. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the twenty eighth, the twenty eighth episode now. <laughs> more people, we gotta have more people to it. Everyone that has double digits, you're somehow involved. <laughs> <laughs> so it goes. It's hard to choose because all I've had some pretty kick ass teachers, but I'd have to say Mr. Castillo, the woodshop teacher. Mm-hmm. 
uh, Mr. Norman, Mr. Dickinson, Ms. Dickinson, Ms. Moore, uh, Mr. Prefer, Mr. Scouten, and I'd say that's, that's about it. <laughs> there is a um, my science teacher too is, is up there. I, I just forgot her name, Miss McNeely. I think that's that's where her name was. Oh, she was really. Also- also, Coach Bud and then Coach uh, Coach McClure. Oh, yeah, now, now you're talking about coaches, so I'm gonna bring up some of my coaches. And also Bobby my wrestling Ray. coaches. Yeah, very much a coach. All right, so I'm gonna bring up my favorite coaches. Uh, it was really all the coaches from soccer. Because they're Coach technically Smith. still teachers too. Yeah. So mine was uh, his name is Claudio. I don't know if you met him. I I don't think I met him. No, all right. Well, he's a short, talented dude from the mafia. Uh, <laughs> we say that just to mess with them, you know? Yeah. So you know, we say his name is... Yeah, uh, leave the gun. Uh, take the cannoli. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> the godfather. <laughs> That's what we were always tell him. You got to go to the spaghetto, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So it's him. And then my other teacher is Nas, uh, Mr. K, and uh, my swim teachers. All of them, really. Mm-hmm. They're really nice. Dude, me holy lot. shit. Guess yeah. what? We've been recording for 47 minutes already. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know, right? Time just flies. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good conversation. You have to fly. Huh? Yeah, dude. Do not, do not, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we're not going to wind down just yet. We're just getting into the meat and potatoes of the situation. Yeah. So, um, we could go longer, dude. Yeah, oh, that's just, why that's why I'm saying we're just getting into the we're just getting in to the fucking, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet you. But oh, go ahead. And just to let you know, you have free reign to uh curse. Just don't don't say anything I can either get <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't cuss. <laughs> don't don't have cancel co- cancel culture come after me. All right. Yeah. Because I don't want I don't want to wake up to Twitter one day being like fuck you you white piece of shit you know like yeah. being it's like crazy. you cunt nugget I don't want to see you anywhere <laughs> <laughs> so I I don't want to yeah. go to court <laughs> yeah I know I know how that works I don't want that but either. still yeah, yeah there you go yeah I feel like I should have uh, get give you those restrictions before we started but. You know, hell, why not? Why not in the middle? Yeah, why not in the middle for everyone to hear, you know? Yeah. We can always cut that out, though. So. Yeah, but it's probably not going to because I I spent six hours editing the other one and probably going to take six hours editing this one just to make it tip-top shape. I mean, I'm probably going to get tired and be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. um, so what do you want to get into next? you want to get into, like, conspiracy theories? I don't know if you have any. Huh? Oh, conspiracy theories? I, I'm i not really, like, that much. I'm not a conspiracy theory type guy. Yeah. But, yeah, because I, I don't see... I, I'm not a conspiracy theory, theory type guy. Because whenever I think of conspiracy theories, I think of that one meme of that dude with all that shit, uh, shit up on his wall. And he's got the suit and tie on, and he's like... You know? Yeah. So... Uh, but do you have one that like piques your interest? Maybe. Because hmm. really, I'm going to be honest with you, the big one is 9-11. That's a good position. That's <laughs> be like, it was a plant. Yeah, but who knows? I, I'm i not really that much into it. Mm-hmm. But, and you know what I don't, I mean, to each their own, but you know what I really don't understand? How there's how there's these girls that can just sit around and watch uh, serial killer documentaries twenty four hours a day, no problem. That's pretty fucking scary, if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, I I like I like watching documentaries about like murders and like you know really any documentary because it, it's interesting. But yeah. the only reason yeah. I say that is because my sister does that shit. <laughs> <laughs> And she's your sister-in-law, or no, your sis- sister-in-law and sister, both the motherfuckers do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Huh? You don't, you don't like that kind of stuff, or what's the? I mean, like you know, I 
it depends on the person it is. You know what I mean? Like if it's like yeah. Ed Gein, I'll I'll watch it because of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because yeah. the movie The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was loose. Yeah, that was the, about a real story though too. No, the lead character was loosely based on uh on that guy, and if you're talking about a like John Wayne Gacy. The dude that was the clown that fucking murdered kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard about that thing. Yeah, he, what he what he used to do and um, with short to party to basically kill kids in the bathroom, though. No? Because he would, yeah, he was a. Uh, um... Oh, that reminds me. Uh, so, you know the NBC streaming service Peacock. Peacock, yeah. So, uh, the only reason I have a Peacock account is because uh, the WWE sold the WWE Network to Peacock for a billion dollars for over five years. Mm-hmm. Right? So, they actually have some pretty interesting shit on it besides all the wrestling stuff. Yeah. Like, they have this new uh, Peacock original, like, docu-series, I think it's called. Mm-hmm. It's called Devil in Disguise, John Wayne Gacy or something like that. I wa- uh-huh. I keep seeing ads for it. And apparently it has, like, interviews with the man himself before he, like, died or got murdered or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I showed it to my sister. I was like, oh, there's this one John Wayne Casey thing. If you if you want to watch it, I'll give you the info. She's like, nah. <laughs> you wouldn't do it. I mean, I would have done it. Like, I would have done it, but she didn't want to, you know, she, she didn't yeah. want to watch it. So I was like, okay. I told her because, like, you know, you're interested in all that stuff. So... Mm-hmm. You know, I I have it paid for, so it's only five bucks a month too. It's not it's not like yeah, it's not too big. It, it's not that huge. Yeah, no. But like you know, I'm like I'm just trying to be a good brother. I'm just like yo, you're interested in this? Why not? Why not do it? Yeah. I'll watch it at least. Okay. That nature. So the transition. Uh, do you, you know me, how you, do you remember that how I was not a huge fan of like horror movies or anything like that? Did when, you know me before I was a huge fan of it or after? I know you before, I know you when you're um, a big fan of that. Because it. it was, it wasn't until we've known each other since freshman year. So I wasn't a huge fan of it until late 2019 like july 2nd 2019 because that's when uh stranger things season two came out uh and oh am i boring you (laughs) no 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 not that or are you just tired i'm just tired dude i did a lot just before i got out of school anyway uh so my brother was like we were watching my grandma's house i'll remember this specifically he was like this and i've uh dove that's how you say it dove into this into the podcast before yeah that's how that sentence is said all right it's like i know words totally (laughs) (laughs) but um i've dove into this before where before you couldn't get me to watch a horror movie to save my life like you know you couldn't do any of that like the only horror movies i would watch was uh like the Final Destination series of movies because it was so cheesy and the kills were like. Yeah, I never like, watched that movie. I heard it was just interesting. Or like, th- there was crazy. five of them, and the one kill that will always stay with me. Or, there's two of, them. there's two kills that will always stay with me. It the one where the dude uh, throws the spaghetti out the window and then he slips on the spaghetti when he's walking outside. And then the fucking fire escape ladder goes through his eyeballs. I I I know, right? And it was CGI bullshit too. Damn, it's crazy how people know that. (laughs) You know how your eyeballs out and shit. You know they get like the smallest details that could get you. Yeah, but the thing is, that was computer generated. (laughs) If it was like done by like a makeup artist, it would have taken a lot more time. Yeah, and it would have looked a whole lot better. Yeah. Oh. Well, maybe because I think hmm, I would say CGI's will look better. 
but make it would look good better too because it's more like realistic and more like you know mm-hmm. like you get like skin dripping off his face you know like they just whoosh. like you can tell it see for like if that skin example yeah. you can if it's cgi you can tell that's computer generated bullshit yeah but if it's, like, lip- it's real, real yeah. like if it's practical effects which is basically real effects if mm-hmm. it's like done by a makeup artist you can tell because it looks it there's a difference in how it looks mm-hmm. and the other kill is um it's in the beginning of final destination 2 where uh that one mass murder scene and there's these there's this dude driving behind a log truck oh which, yeah we were, weren't we talking about this earlier like yeah. a few months ago, yeah. yeah, where the fire truck, the the log goes straight through the fucking guy's uh, guy's car. Dude, I know, man. But was it? It was the um, cause it first started out with the truck. You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was somehow there was gas got. I don't know. And don't then know. he like he like slipped, and then yeah, his car flipped fucking flipped up. over. No, because remember, because his car was on fire. Yeah, it got gas on it, whatever. And the truck next to him pretty much flicked a cigarette towards his window. Mm-hmm. And just caught on fire like that. And yeah, I don't know what happened to the trucker, but I remember the trucker like uh, the truck like flipped, and then the, one of the largest boom, like just right through the fucker's car. Yeah, and I think I know. I know which movie you're talking about now. Yeah, it's Final Destination it. Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you started to jog my memory a little bit. Now, uh, I've always said that the even the Final Destination movies, like you know, it's over the top. It could never really happen. But if you think about it. It could. Never know. Shit yeah, could, yeah. you know, tanning beds like that tanning bed kill. Yeah, that's the whole reason great. I will never go into tanning bed. Yeah, never because <laughs> of the movie. Because of that movie. It's Is because that... you think about it. Here's the setup. So these dumb blonde bitches. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you like to call. Them. <laughs> oh, they're stupid. They're stupid. You know. Yeah. So they had like big gulps or some shit. It was like 2002. So they had big gulps. And they were like they they went into the tanning booth or whatever, right? right. And there was a sign that said in big ass letters, do not have drinks near the equipment. This bitch put <laughs> a fucking drink right on top of like right in front of that sign. Yeah. And then the fucking it was the drink was sweating, so you know you yeah. know when drinks sweat and they get all wet yeah. on yeah. the outside of the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the drink was sweating, and then it like it made the whole water stream thing, and then it uh, it caused something to trip, and then the thing something fell on top or in the middle of the tanning beds to like lock yeah. them both in. Yeah, I saw and the that, bitches yeah. cooked. Like fucking calamari, like yeah. yeah. But it's just, I know I know like some tiny bits. Don't they have like like uh, it's like a tube where there's like an exit on the other end and it's just like an exit by your legs. So you I don't know because like, I've never been in a tanning bed. I I never been in one, but I seen like some of some of them are like designed like almost like a coffin, and then mm-hmm. some of them are designed where like if you can't get out, you can like slip yourself out of it. Mm-hmm. But then again, tube. you got to remember, this was two thousand. No, it was two thousand one. It was either 2001 or 2002. So it was well over 20 years ago. Yeah, that's the movie it gets to me, though. 19, was, uh, 20 years ago. Yeah. I, that's it. Dude, there's two kills that I just take in my head, too. Um, I don't know if you've seen the one where the guy was in the pool. Yeah. And, when like, he gets, he gets sucked in. Yeah. Oh, man. I, dude, yeah. Because you really think about it, it can really happen. Yeah, it's it's so actually sweet. a true thing that can yeah. seriously happen. And it's serious, because I have a pool in my house. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like that, it, but it's on the side. It's not on the bottom. It's on the side of the pool. And actually, yeah. grabbed me with this one time. My right? pool guy forgot it. Um, He's like, "Oh fuck!" It's pretty much like a vacuum in the pool, but he forgot mm-hmm. to turn off the um, vacuum. So when I was like um, getting close to it with, with like my bag, mm-hmm. it was actually it, strong enough to like, push, you know. And I look, he kind of panicked. I was. And, you were like Final Destination Five. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It, it got me, dude. I was like, you know, I panicked. My dad was laughing because he, because he was the one that turned it off. You know, he uh-huh. stepped. <laughs> he was the asshole. <laughs> yeah, exactly, pretty much. 
And it, it was that one. <sighs> Dude, that thing's disgusting. Whenever it had, like, it shows the pool, the pool and, Like, machine. all the guts and shit. Yeah, it was, like, just floating with the pool mm-hmm. water. And then, a- hey, at least it's not like a Saw movie where every 10 minutes someone's head explodes. <laughs> or just fucking something gets ripped off their body. Yeah. And then just the other, the other one was the one where they were in the plane. I don't know if you remember the, that one. Yeah, it, it was it was in the conclusion of the first movie. Yeah. Or, no, no. It was, it was, it in, was the the, it, it it was in the, the beginning. beginning or the end. It was in the beginning remember, of the first movie. I remember it was in the end. It was in the ending of the fifth movie because apparently it was the all plane. in the same. Apparently the fifth movie took place before the first movie. It was... It was, you know, it was a twist. It was weird. But yeah. the first movie, the plane blew up near the, in the beginning of the movie, too. And like, his body gets kind of like way evaporated with the heat. Just, it just <laughs> yeah. And then he just wakes up in a cold sweat. That's weird. And then there was the other kill, too. Whenever, when he uh, fell off the bridge and then, you know, those, those boats that have those really the big. The hot tar uh, went yeah. across the guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just do. <laughs> expect us to talk about horror movies to this extent. <laughs> Man, that's, that was disgusting. But uh, well, fuck. Since we're talking about horror movies, all of the Final Destination movies, everything that's done in those movies is things I purposely avoid doing. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, ever, since I, ever since I watched it, I'm like, damn, dude. I'm like, that shit can happen, you know? Yeah, I purposely avoid doing that shit. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I'm just going to charge my Chromebook real quick. <laughs> it's all good. Try to reach it. There you go. But yeah, that's crazy, man. So how long we. Um, but, uh, how long have we been going about? for? Huh? Yeah. We've yeah. been going for an hour and three minutes. Let's go. Already. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, but uh, there was like a lot of kills that was stuck in my head with that. I was like a kid and watching that movie. Yeah, same here, dude. <laughs> I was like fucking maybe eleven years old. Yeah. Oh, and remember that one kill? I don't know if you remember, but when there were, the lady wanted the eye surgery for her eye, dude. And that shit was totally. Oh my god, that was and in the. Uh, yeah, that was in the fifth movie. Yeah, it was like the you you remember that one kill uh where the kid was at the dentist and then uh, uh so the kid was at the dentist and something yeah. happens to where mm-hmm. like he had all the dental equipment on that the dentist would put on him right mm-hmm. and then uh something happened where something swung through the window sliced the head sliced the fucking kid's head clean in half that's nasty man yeah but there's a certain art well then again it was all cgi bullshit so there's no art to cgi but yeah but if you think about it it makes you think like damn (laughs) like that could really happen yeah if you you really have bad luck like that like shit like that yeah like fuck who stepped on a crack man (laughs) yeah (laughs) You walk under a ladder anytime soon, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> broke a mirror. Yeah, or I mean, I'd break a mirror because I'm ugly, but that's that's another situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, self-deprecating humor is hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the eyeball, though. The yeah, eyeball that eye surgery. One. I remember, I remember, like it went wrong and just like the eyeball just what popped out of your eye and then like it yeah, going out the window. Yeah, it was like awful. you fell on the street, but then some car just came and ran it over and just fucking. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so uh you know what I'm going to college for, right? What's up? I'm go didn't I tell you about this? Yeah, in the beginning. Yeah, I'm going to college for film and special effects. It well it's called film and media production hmm. and uh theater I think they're calling it theater effects. Mm-hmm. Which is you basically the other one, uh, GGI graphic or whatever. That what well, that you got to remember. That's a part of the special makeup oh, yeah. effects. Sorry, I'm because okay. Here, here's how it goes down. I'm gonna learn how to make all the. Mo- I've told you about this before. Well, I'm gonna learn how to make all the monsters and shit. <laughs> and I was, and I, I remember telling you, I was like, Jeremy, I'll, I'll make sure to hit you up. Be like, you want your head in the fridge? <laughs> right, yeah, 
you told me about that in person. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm going to be making heads and stuff, and it's going to be cool. Because mm-hmm. here's what I want to happen. I, I want to, like, since I'm a huge fan of horror movie effects, like, say, if they make a monster – or if they make someone's head blow off, I want to be like, I want to wonder, like, once that happens, I wonder, oh, how the fuck did they do that? And then I find out who was the special makeup effects, like, person Chris. who did it. And then I go into their career and then wonder, oh, how the fuck was this done? You know? And then I watch, uh, I watch documentaries on it. And all this other stuff. And speaking of uh, horror movie documentaries, I have my name in the credits of two horror movie documentaries. Oh, really? Yeah, in the credits. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'll, wow. I'll, I'll go get them. Give me a second. <laughs> all right. How to prove me wrong. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so... I got my name in the credits of this one, which is In Search of Darkness Part 1, the Corey Taylor Collector's Edition. Mm-hmm. How'd you get your name on that, though? It's because uh, there was an Indiegogo campaign. Mm-hmm. Which Indiegogo is like a Kickstarter service, right? Yeah. And I saw it promoted on Instagram. And it was when I was first starting to get into horror movies. And I was like, oh. And Corey Taylor is my favorite lead singer of all time. He's the lead singer for Slipknot and Stone Sour. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to be a part of this. And then I also have, it's the same documentary, but here's what the cover art is supposed to look like. Yeah, you posted on your own story once, whenever on your Instagram. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I remember seeing it. I have a post about when, uh, since they had a flash show for this one, mm-hmm. uh, I, that's how I got this one. Uh yeah, I paid like maybe like fifty bucks for it or something. And I got I got some posters and like for the, pins. for the movie or for your name to be on the movie, like in the credits. No, the the name were the name was already in the credits for this movie. This was uh, just like a resale of the standard edition, and I paid mm-hmm. fifty bucks for the movie and the posters and all the other stuff. Oh wow! <laughs> and then, as you can tell, I'm I'm a huge like movie fan. Yeah. And uh. I'll show you later, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't see it, but you know, bunch yeah, of long. fucking, yeah, that's, that's, that's my movie collection right there, dog. <laughs> hey, that's what's up. It, I'm, it doesn't look the fucking, it doesn't look how it should right now because I haven't had time to like clean it up. It still looks pretty good. The way but I it. that's over like a hundred movies right there, dude. Because oh, really? you got to so think of double two packs. Roles or just one and like. You know like I mean? if I could do it, like if I was to um, line it all up and like put it all into rows and sections, right? It would put it would be three rows and one top section that's like maybe half a full row. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then we also have. In Search of Darkness Part Two, which is that name? other other horror documentary. Uh-huh. This is, is the main cover one? art for it, huh? Yeah, yeah my name's one? in this one too, but I got the Chris Jericho Collector's Edition because you know <laughs> Chris Jericho is the wrestler, and he's he's hey, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. So I got that one, and I also, along with that one, I also bought. You got to remember, these are the same documentary, but just two different copies, two different special editions. Since I got uh-huh. the I got the part one for the Corey Taylor collector's edition, I had to get the part two. Yeah, of course. But here's here's what the part two cover art looks like. Mm-hmm. Can you like see it good? I mean, it's kind of blurry, but yeah, I can see the top part. Yeah. Like I'll saying. take I'll take pictures of it and then I'll I'll send it to you. All right. Hmm. And, is this uh, documentary on like Netflix or anything like that, or is it just in a CD? Like we uh, I also have a like digital copy of it. Mm-hmm. Like I I got the digital purchase of, of it and everything. So, uh, and I have uh, posters and pins and all this other stuff that came with it. And uh, I found out 
that they're going to do a part three to it mm -hmm. in October. So I I'm kind of, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to try to get a, uh, since I can only buy it with a credit card, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save up my money. And after I buy a car and all that stuff, I'm going to have a certain amount, depending on how much it is. I don't give a fuck how much it is, but well, actually it all depends on who, uh, who is like a part of it. If it's like Chris Jericho or Corey Taylor again, or like, like, fuck. or <laughs> like a horror actor or someone that I know and like, I'm going to get it. Yeah. Because I was already in the first two installments. Why not be in the third one? Yeah. Of course, dude. So uh, that's why I'm going to have a certain amount of money, like, you know, stepped out, set, set aside. Mm -hmm. And that's why if I ever do get a credit card, that's going to be the first thing I use it on. That's going to be the only thing I use it on and then pay it off immediately. So I have no debt and then probably not use that credit card, but only for emergencies. And at this point, it would technically be an emergency. <laughs> yeah. Because of the... You know. Yeah. And I have something called, since I'm a huge, you know, I'm a huge movie nut, as you've seen. Yeah. I, I, like, I like holding it in my hand. I also like, you know, digital copies and stuff because of convenience. Right. Like going to YouTube or going to like a streaming service app and being like, oh... Oh, I have this movie. Awesome. Boom. So, uh, anyway, like, I, I like holding it in my hand. There's, like, a lost art to it somewhat because, like, everything's uh, going digital. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the same with games. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely with games. I like video games. I, I, I like holding, you know, holding the copy of the game in my hand <laughs> exactly it's, instead it's of because you never know some shit could go wrong with like the storage at like the if you buy a game digitally you know what i mean yeah say like, like something goes wrong with the account that it's purchased on or like save data got corrupted or something or the game data got corrupted so you have to delete the game yeah it did but but and like redownload it but with a disc you don't need to do that yeah no well actually no. nowadays the disc yeah, has some, to yeah, download nowadays, yeah sometimes but back in the day of like the yeah. xbox 360 days you could just pop a disc in pop a disc in and, and even with the ps2 you put a you put the disc in and yeah. then you put the memory card even in with a ps2 it. Speaking yeah, of PS2, card, I don't know if you have a um, memory card. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, I, dude, I, this fucking this drawer right here is. Whew, I thought I was gonna sneeze. <laughs> this drawer right here, I have my PS2 in it, oh, with the, the whole word. fucking the whole console and like the memory cards. Here's a console. Oh wow! Damn, that thing's small. <laughs> Easy to pick up. <laughs> Whole console, fucking controller, all memory cards. Let me, let me get this out. I think it's a memory card. No, this is a Xbox a adapter for the uh, Guitar Hero controller. Because Guitar Hero Three was a was a game that I played religiously back in the day. Yeah, fucking Did religiously. Play? I played this game almost every goddamn day. I and I was getting super good at it too. Yeah, every time I go to my cousin's house, we used to play it. I used to play the um, drums. The drum set over there. We had the bass, the guitar. And there yeah. is the, what, the other thing, too. I, I forgot that. There, there's vocals and all that. That was uh, yeah. That was rock band, though. Actually, no, that wasn't it until Guitar Hero World Tour when they in, incorporated it, all of that. Yeah, it, it has, like, I was surprised they had a real song to me. Yeah. Because usually they'll be, what, made up and shit. But, like, real, real people. Especially, like, like with the first... With the first two Guitar Hero games, it was just um, oh, almost dropped my phone. <laughs> Saw that. It was almost uh, what they did because to avoid copyright, they uh, did covers of the songs and put them on the on the game. But with Guitar Hero Three, 
like it sold enough copies and did enough like good usage to where they actually got the bands in the studio to re-record those songs for the game. Yeah. It's and then that's how pretty, that's how they did that, you know, on and on. Mm. But I think Guitar Hero 3 has to be the best Guitar Hero game of all time. Best cuz yeah. Hands down. No, no doubt. Was it Metallica in one of them? Was, it was yeah, they had their own game. Yeah, yeah, Guitar Hero Metallica. Yeah, I remember that shit. That shit went hard. I haven't played uh, Guitar Hero. Like, I haven't played Guitar Hero games in, like, maybe 15 years. Dude, I haven't, I haven't seen one. I've seen one in, um, I don't know, have, have you been to um, Round 1? Uh, Maybe once or twice, but I haven't, like, you know. Yeah, they had they have a guitar hero in that game. Me and my friends used to go to it um, before the pandemic. They wanted to make it, but they just closed it down because they went bankrupt. So, mm-hmm. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I used to play the bass. Uh, we used to. Uh, I forgot what song was. It. But they, they had Mexican, um, Spanish music. Did, did you know that? They did. So, yeah, I was surprised because <laughs> they had like all gritty music. So they had like mm-hmm. um, corridos. I don't know if you heard of that. Because there's, uh, I think there was some portions in Guitar Hero games where they had like bonus songs, or they had yeah, s- if you if you like pass a certain amount of levels, or, or there was of- certain games. I don't mean to cut you off, but there's yeah, no. certain games where uh, you could import, like you could create your own songs and import your own music from a certain console. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah, I used to do that on the PS3. Yeah, I used but to do that. On a, I was an Xbox 360. Uh, Here's how I transitioned. PS2, Xbox 360, PS4. I've never owned a PS3 in my life. Ever? Never. Just went straight to PS4. Are you going to get a PS5? Probably. I can't switch over again. (laughs) Yeah. My cousin has one. I think it's huge, dude. Yeah. you, You told me in person it's fucking big. Yeah, dude, really big, man. I was going to buy one, but since I have over 500 bucks saved up, but since, like, you know, they're $500, I think, right? For, like, the yeah. disc version, it's, like, 500 bucks. It's like, yeah, this is, like, further. Mm. Oh, damn it. I can't remember. I think it was 500 bucks for the disc. It, one of them costs more because it has a CD. Yeah, because other... it has a disc drive, and then the other, yeah. the other one was purely digital. Yeah, purely digital. And, um, like, I, I would go for the disc one because, you know, I have some 4K Ultra HD movies. And I don't have a 4... That's basically a 4K Blu-ray player. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not about to spend $300 on a normal 4K Blu-ray player. Well, you could just get the PS5. And just yeah, I'll just get the PS5. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I would do that. But the money that I have saved up is money for when I move because I'm going to need that money for when I move. Mm-hmm. So I can't, you know, go out spending it willy nilly. I only like, you know, it's only like maybe 20 bucks here. And that's maybe like once every two, three months or something. But yeah, it's not like. I'm not taking out like a hundred and seven dollars or something, you know. Yeah, no. I'm yeah. not taking out huge amounts. Yeah. And I only spend go. extra money that I make. Like if I make forty bucks here or fifty bucks here. Yeah. You that's go, the you money I spend. Yeah. Buy some food. Or something. I I don't take I don't take money out from those checks because those are like for a certain purpose. Yeah. Everything, if you get, well, I'm pretty sure everybody does that. You know, you get extra, extra money and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, I got a question for you. Let me see. Let me hear this. <laughs> let, me, let me see it. Huh? Let you me, want to yeah, see words you can... come out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, that was just for the video audience. The audio audience is just going to have to hear the sultry sounds of our voices. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm probably gonna stay up all night editing this, but fuck, it's already eight oh five. Hell yeah. Okay, so favorite movie of all? Oh, yeah, be right back, or are you good? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Favorite movie of all time. Favorite, my favorite movie. So it, all the time. Favorite movie of all time. Dang. All right. I'm, I'm going to listen to. Regardless of genre. It could be ho- name, whatever. It could be horror movie, action movie, comedy movie, whatever. All right, baby, baby, baby. Uh, my first movie is going to be I Am Legend. That's a really good movie. That Did you know that's actually a horror movie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of, like, the zombies? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you heard, but they supposedly, like, changed the ending a little bit. Yeah, because it was it was a lot. They're trying to make it more happy, which is – it's a fucking zombie movie. It's not supposed yeah, to be no happy. Ending. Yeah, there's no ending. <laughs> The motherfucker already killed his dog. How sadder can it get? Yeah. So it's got to be um, that movie and um, The Town. I don't know if you've seen that movie. I've seen bits and pieces. Yeah, that thing is a pretty good movie, dude. I would suggest you should watch it if you have time. The Town is pretty good. The Town. I like I like a lot of cartoon movies. So I'm put The Town. The first SpongeBob movie. Dude. OG. Oh jeez! <laughs> I think there is just a certain with the generation that grew up with SpongeBob because it started in 1999. Yeah. So like we're the generation and generations after us. We we're growing up with SpongeBob. You know what I mean? We grew up fucking watching people like SpongeBob, Patrick. You know, Avatar. Avatar. Like the legit. The last airbender, the good animated one, not the yeah, fucking yeah. the, the fucking wannabe, wannabe not, one. yeah, not the fucking movie. There was Scooby Doo, Scooby, yeah, bro. And then oh. the, well, the Flintstones. Yeah, dude, I used to watch all that shit when I was a kid. Yeah, Flintstones, yeah. Jetsons, yeah, Tom, like every time it was it, it was Spongebob, it was Tom and Jerry, yeah, bro. Switch over back and forth and back and forth, dude. Did you know that? Um, I found out. Now that I'm looking back years later, you know, Shaggy and Scooby were stoners. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> we basically grew up watching stoners, man. Yeah. What was it? Scooby? Shaggy what and Scooby. Friends? Yeah, Shaggy was the one that was high. That's why he was yeah. always hungry. He was always, yeah. You know? <laughs> he was always eating. Yeah, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, he was hungry, dude. And a Scooby, you know. He would, he would have smoked it, but I'm pretty sure he was. I'm know, pretty sure he would, yeah. Smell it, you know, yeah. secondhand smoke. He's a son of a bitch. So they would say. I know because yeah. I was around Raul a lot, and he'd get his dog fucked up. And I'd kind yeah. of feel. <laughs> speaking of Raul. <laughs> uh, <laughs> speaking of Raul, there was this one time <laughs> when I got done recording the podcast with him. And that was the shortest podcast I've ever done. But Mm -hmm. uh, I was recording that podcast with him. And his dog. Oh, Marley's one of my favorite dogs ever. But Marley, dude, this fart was ungodly. It was. It was. You farted with a dog. The dog farted. (laughs) (laughs) Look, here's what happened. So Marley was sitting down in front of us, right? And then Marley just <laughs> Marley just cut one of the most just god awful terrible like almost throw up smelling farts. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> and I re- I remember uh, I smelt that shit. And <laughs> me and Raul smelt the shit at the exact same time. And we were in a shed because that's where we recorded. Yeah. But uh we smelt that shit at the exact same time. And he was like Yo boy was like Y'all looked at each other the same time like what the yeah, we were like, and then we, <laughs> we both looked at each other, we were like Marley and then he looked at us. Because you know how dogs look at you with that one sad look on yeah. their face? They were like, what did like, I do? We were like, Marley, it, out. Yeah. Get the fuck out, dude. <laughs> we're going to have to take a breather on this one. It was, oh, Literally. it was god awful. It was like you know, military camps. You know, yeah, with it was, it was gas, bad. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. You remember that one time when uh, my dog interrupted class in Miss Boy's class? My pit bull? 
I don't remember. I don't think I was with you when Miss Moore. Oh, it's because um, wait, do you have her? Who do you have? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry about that. Go ahead. So this is my dog. This is Coda. Mm-hmm. He, oh, you're talking about uh, through FaceTime. Yeah, through oh. Zoom, on, like in okay, class. Yeah, no, I remember. And stare into my dog's soul. Where is that? <laughs> wait. <laughs> st- wait. Yeah, stare into his soul. Looks like you're staring into your soul. Yep, stare into his soul. And uh, <laughs> how old is he? he? Right, yeah, he's he's an old fuck. He's yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know how old he is. All I know is that his face is all white and he has a bad hip. <laughs> but like he he walks like he's Our, old as fuck. Um, huh? I oh, I was gonna say um I heard um if you have every dog lives a certain amount uh, of years with you, I think it was ten years. Mm-hmm. If your dog lived with you for ten years, that um it's actually good luck. Did you did you I don't I don't know if you heard that. I I've never heard that before. No, I think it's just a Mexican thing because we say that if your dog lives more than ten years. That it's actually good luck. It's parent to like bury him in the backyard, and he'll bring you a lot of good luck from the afterlife. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. That's anyway, I don't know. Th- this old fucker, like he runs like he's half his age. Like he runs upstairs like he's half his age. It's fucking hilarious to watch. And I remember one time. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was too damn lazy. <laughs> yeah, now, like he's 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 walking like he's old as fuck but he runs up the stairs like he's half his age and he runs down the stairs he does like this hopping motion and it's so yeah. fucking cute he's just like ooh, ooh. it's like he's bumping down the stairs it's fucking hilarious yeah. and there <laughs> and there was this one time <laughs> when he was running up the stairs and he tripped like he slipped and hit his head <laughs> and it, and I was, he was running up the stairs and then he slipped and hit his head and he was like, Arr! and then I looked at him. I was like, oh, Kata, are you okay? <laughs> like I, I laughed obviously because it was funny as hell to see, but, I, but then I was also concerned for him. I was like, are you okay, buddy? <laughs> you break your name, did you? Because <laughs> what, he, what he always does is he runs in my room and he knows mm-hmm. he hops on my bed and just fucking sleeps. And he interrupted all day. He interrupted uh, my third period one day, which was Miss Moore, and he was just sitting mm. there, and he was like standing up straight, like all proper. Yeah, I remember right? that. So uh, he was trying to look what you were doing. And then, and then he kept on looking at me uh, while I was in class. He was like, "Why are you not giving me attention?" And he was like turning over, trying to act all cute and shit. And it was hilarious. But did you finish off that movie list before we started talking about dogs? <laughs> which movie? Your favorite movies of all time? Oh yeah, I finished that. Oh, you finished? Okay. For my list, it's kind of hard because I just, I just love, you know, I like movies, like, mm-hmm. and especially if you have like behind the scenes features about or like documentaries about the movie, or like how, how everything was done, I'll fucking dive head deep into that shit and I'll I'll watch the hell out of it. Oh yeah, me too. Being like, because it's really interesting to find out how certain movies come to light. Uh huh. So, I think if I had to give you a top, it would be top yeah, top whatever. It'd be The Water Boy, Billy Madison. Oh, the Water Boy. Is it some high quality H two O? Yeah, it's that high quality H two O. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Billy Madison, man. Gotta love Adam Sandler. Or oh, what's that? What's that other, the other famous dude? But he's like, you can do it, you know. That was uh, Rob everything. Schneider. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's funny, man. Uh, so the Billy Madison. Oh, have you seen the Hubie Halloween? 
QB Halloween, no. It's a Netflix movie. It's like a brand new Netflix movie with uh, Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. It's You're fucking sweating? hilarious, dude. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I gotta watch it then. Dude, I remember, like, I watched it when it first came out. I watched it, like, four times because was, I was just dying. Every every time I seen it, it got funnier and funnier. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's funny, man. And then uh, it has to be Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, mm-hmm. which is that one movie with Jack Nicholson where he was, like, he broke down the door and he's like, here's Johnny. Yeah. It's that movie. Yeah, and there's another movie I missed out on. The, the Longest Yard? Yeah. Wait, are you talking about the original or the one with Adam Sandler? The one with Adam Sandler. Yeah, that was the remake. It was, it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked with it. Chris Rock in it. Oh, did you know on May 14th, Chris Rock is going to have a Saw movie coming out with Samuel Jackson? Really? Yeah. The Rock? That's no, funny. Chris Rock. Oh, Chris Rock. Okay. Like, I'd pay to see The Rock in a Saw Trap, but... You know, <laughs> but I'm. I feel like his big ass would just, you know, be like, and just like, you know, break out of it. Because the man, you, you see how big the fucking dude is. He's huge. That nigga built different. Oh, he, you can say whatever you want. Who cares? Right, the guy's got basketballs for fucking biceps, right, dude. He he's got bowling balls on his fucking traps. Like this shit's he, it's a big man. Dude, this dude guy's fucking legs for for arms, dude. And from what <laughs> I heard, he's one of the fucking nicest oh. people you can meet. Like again. Oh. Lost you for go. a second. I said I was I was saying because you know how you're talking about how big he is. I was talking, I was telling you like dude, this dude has an arm for legs, dude. Yeah. He's <laughs> got legs. arms for legs and legs for arms. So the guy's huge. Yeah, really He's one shit. person I would not want to get into a fight with. Oh, hell no. Because he'd pop my head right <laughs> off. <laughs> Dude, but it would be yeah. it'd be such an honor to take a rock bottom from the guy. Either a rock bottom or a people's elbow. I'd be honored because I grew up a wrestling fan. And mm-hmm. he he is in a legendary wrestling family. Yeah, I know his dad was in wrestling. Yeah, and he was he was a he was only in the WWE for seven years, but became one of the biggest stars the company ever had. Yeah. Which is unprecedented for only a seven year run. Yeah. And have you seen the uh the uh fucking the NBC show he has called Young Rock? Where he talks about his life? And all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I seen a little bit of it. Seen yeah, I, it. I've been watching it. It's dude, it's good. It's like, yeah. I mean, he talks about what his dad being like. His dad was abusive and whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Then we're talking about something else. They're yeah. talking about something else. Yep. That's Michael Jackson, bro. No. Yes. The way Johnson. That, Is that his... The Rock's dad wasn't abusive. Yes, it was. No, he wasn't. He talked about it. He did when? Uh, when he was doing like an interview for college, I think. Oh, okay. Then uh, I, I haven't seen that. But you know what's fucked? What's up? The Rock's dad died on my birthday. Oh, dang. In 2020. <laughs> <laughs> what a year. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Day. Fuck. And Dude, talk about that. Um, I know. Grandpa, that's my grandpa died on my birthday. On your birthday? Yeah. Fuck. That's crazy, huh? Dude, just thinking about the fact that the rock cries on my birthday makes me feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, you like you beat him say, like, dude's my birthday today, you know? Yes, his dad, and then he's dad he's dad. on a I don't want to be that one guy on the post about his dad being like, It's my birthday, Rock. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. And his dad was one of my favorite, like, old school wrestlers, too. Yeah. So that was a huge gut punch. I was like, oh, why couldn't he have, I mean, I never want a man to die, but why couldn't he have died on the fucking 16th? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the third. No, the Instead 15th. of my birthday, you know. <laughs> so we've been going for... 
an hour and 36 minutes. So I could talk to you all fucking day. Yeah, I know, dude, but we got to stop, man. At the so, end, he's going on. How, uh, how you feel? Uh, how you feeling? <laughs> For some reason, everybody that's been on this podcast has told me it's been a pleasant experience. Apparently, I'm a good podcast host. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're talking about that. I thought you were talking about how I feel. Me, because me, I'm low-key kind of tired. I'm like, no, but like, how do you feel? Like, how does it feel being on the show? Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I was so excited to join this shit. Hey, you're yeah, pretty you, good. I'm you excited. seemed very excited. And like, that oh, made yeah. me more excited to do, uh, do the episode. I was like, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Yeah, and it's awesome. weird... <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Yeah, it's also, weird yeah. to know that I'm struggling to find guests for the show. Mm-hmm. You know, because I'm trying to hit up all the boys, but none of them ever responded. Yeah, no. So it kind of, kind of puts it down here. We could do one, one with me, you and Raul. Yeah, th- that's what. Wasn't I proposing yeah, we, that like two months ago? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta get another one like that. We we could do that with you. So we're gonna find maybe like a fourth person, so you get like kind of. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. We could probably get uh, Jonathan. Yeah, I gotta talk to him though. He still owes me a podcast yeah, appearance. Sure. Yeah, he still <laughs> owes me a fucking podcast <laughs> appearance because I promoted his shit on my Twitter. He was like, "I'll do oh, your wow. podcast if you do this." I was like, "Okay." Fucking liar! That's what he is. <laughs> So, it's been an hour and 38 minutes. What do you say we start wrapping this fucker up? Yeah, man. Let's wrap it up, baby. Okay. As we come winding down, uh, how was your overall experience on the show? Fucking amazing. It was killer. I'll give it some de- devil horns, bro. <laughs> I thought I'd give it to It was really good, man. I think you should continue instead of get some really big people on here. Instead of like, you know, you know, your friends are cool too, but if you get like bigger people, like, yes, yeah. I mean, John Cena follows Undertaker, me on Twitter. You know, uh, it wouldn't be bad if you took the Undertaker of this base, right? Dude, I, I'd fucking, I'd lose my mind if I even had a, had a, had a chance to talk to Undertaker. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be recorded. If I just have the memory of talking to him, my mind will be blown. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, guess what? John Cena followed me on Twitter two days after my birthday, two years ago. Does he still follow you? Yeah. What? I'll show you right now. Shit. How come no one will follow me like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, the joke is I only have 40. Uh, since I have 45, 45 followers on Twitter because I'm not, I'm, for some reason, people out here flexing with 2,000 followers and shit. I'm not a huge social media guy. Mm-hmm. I only have like 200 followers on Instagram. Well, everybody like, else that goes to our school has like 700, you know? Yeah. I got like 569 followers and then 693. They're mainly all like meme pages. Mm-hmm. Kind of. see, like, you see that? Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Let me. No, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, John Cena, or you? Oh, it is John Cena. Tick oh, mark and everything. Yeah. All right, then bad. You see the fucking 12 million followers? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, he just randomly followed me, too. And I was like, and I was talking to my friend Gus. And, like, once I got that notification, I, I initially blew it off. I was like, oh, you know. Probably just another random account. I was like, it's probably, because, you know, with wrestlers, they have fan pages. Yeah, yeah it's like a wannabe. For yeah, John where Cena like people. they're like up and like they're obsessive, and it's it's super fucking weird. It's super creepy. Mm-hmm. Because you know, it's some forty-five-year-old dude. You know what I mean? Or well, maybe maybe like a girl or something. You know, but like it's, just it's super cool. obsessive and it's creepy. Yeah. See, I thought it was like that, but then I clicked on it, and then I saw the blue check mark. Twelve point nine million followers, and I was like, like oh. I was like, holy shit, it's actually John Cena. And then I showed my friend, and he was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I remember I showed Scout, and 
I was like, oh, check this out. He was like, no, it ain't real. Yeah. I was like, check the followers. <laughs> Be jealous, huh? I was like, Ugh. so, okay, we're winding down. You said this was a good experience. Yes, it was. I told you. Devil horns. Want to want to do this again? Hopefully, I, I gotta work on Raul. I gotta I gotta check. Well, we already have a group chat with him, but yeah. I'm gonna create a group chat with just the three of us. Okay. Or I could just do that over the phone number since I have both of your guys' numbers. I could do that too. It doesn't really matter, but I'll figure something out. Mm-hmm. And then uh, hopefully that'll be another episode. And uh, so, plug your shit. Social media is whatever you social have. Social media for Snapchat and Instagram, Jeremy400 and seven. Don't forget to say. <laughs> and then for the for my TikTok, I got nothing much in there. I just got my username is the iconic, the iconic underscore. No, the underscore iconic and it dash zero four, if I'm correct. Let me look at it right now. Let me look at it. Let me look at just it. like, oh, I can't see that shit. <laughs> there you, go. you got a little folks, man. <laughs> okay, the, the icon. Yep. yep. All right. Here's what. Here's what you should do. Uh, okay. Text me all the usernames. Okay. Like on Instagram or even you can even text. Well, you have to my, my Instagram and you have my Snapchat. I just need to give you my TikTok. I I don't have a TikTok, so I, I know that's right. I'm just gonna send it to yeah. you. Yeah. But like, here's what you can do for like to save time. Just like send all the usernames to my to my phone number, mm-hmm. so I can just you know transport the messages. Okay. For like time wise, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask you to help me out now on Monday, so you can yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So right, this has been this. yeah. There you go. Go ahead. Episode ten. I can't believe we made it to ten episodes. Oh, yeah. We made it to ten fucking episodes, people. It's insane. Hopefully, I'll be here for 20, 30. Hopefully, I'll make it to a fucking 100. Yeah, or maybe more. Or maybe, maybe more. Special people in the life, in the yeah. future. You Just never know, on. man. Keep but I also feel like that type. I feel like kind of a douchebag being like, hey, you want to do my podcast? You know? No, don't be, bro. Don't be. <laughs> it's it's but, for you, you know? Yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, cool. We've made it 10 episodes, people. Hopefully, we have more in the future. I'm planning to have at least at least a couple more. <laughs> All right. Got to do the Illuminati sign, you know? Like, you know, nah, kind of don't be doing that shit. <laughs> nah, come on out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this has been the Culture Shock. Thank you for joining me. You. The links will be in the description of the YouTube channel and the description of the Spotify page and Google Podcasts and wherever the fuck you're listening to this on. You could be listening to this listening and or watching this on youtube the youtube channel mikey atlas or you could be listening to it on google podcasts under the culture shock spotify under oh once i said google podcast my since i have a google phone my phone started acting up uh google podcasts spotify under the culture shock or on youtube watching the video version so Thank you for joining me. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have another episode out soon. It's just I'm struggling trying to find guests because nobody has the time, which I understand. But it's okay. I'm I'm doing my best. I can't interview myself. So, uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for giving me your time and listening to this. And I'll catch you down the road.